guys, this is Wunderbit Trading, and we carry on with our weekly Bitcoin and Ethereum price analysis. As usual, in front of you, you can see four different charts, but they all relate to Bitcoin. The one on the top left is the BTC futures, the one on the top right is the BTC dominance, and two at the bottom are different spot prices for Bitcoin from Bitstamp and Binance Exchange. So let's look at the weekly time frame, which is currently in front of you. And I deliberately hide all our previous analysis so we can just analyze the price actions themselves. So starting from the BTC futures, we can see that during the previous week, even though the price of the uh, BTC futures went down significantly to and touched the level of 6,500, it rebounds back uh, and closed almost at the same level as the beginning of the week. Um, at the same time, the BTC dominance is actually going down. It carries on with a downward movement and the 200 May is acting as a pure resistance. While on the spot market during the weekends, we were able to see the um, continuation of the increase of the uh, price of Bitcoin, which started uh, in the middle of the week. So. Uh, we can also see that this is the uh, this was the fifth week in a row that closed with the positive gains for Bitcoin, which is quite a good sign on the one hand. However, um, we still believe that there is a potential for the Bitcoin to uh, going to start decreasing, to go down, and to search for either the similar bottom over here or uh, to form a double bottom or maybe to retrace a little bit and then uh, stay there for the accumulation zone. And the reason behind that will be inside of this video. So let me switch back on all our analysis from the previous weeks and we'll start from the BTC futures and switch to the daily charts over there. So what actually happened is that we had our downward channel uh, the price of Bitcoin bumped into it several times during the previous week. Um, even though the BTC futures are trading slightly above that channel, it is still um, not very convenient that the BTC price is going to dramatically increase uh, in the nearest future. Um, we still have a 50 MA acting as a resistance. We still have 200 MA acting as a resistance even further at the level of 8,700. So for the short term, there is a possibility that the price will hit the uh, 50 MA as a resistance. So it's around 7,800. Um, but at the same time, the volume is still decreasing. So you can definitely see that the volume is decreasing, which means that we don't see any significant support from the bulls uh, based on the uh, volume, based on the idea that we still have to break a quite significant level of resistance. And we are currently right at the zone of the previous accumulation, which was over here. So let me just put it on the graph. So this was the previous zone of accumulation and we're exactly in that zone right now. So the scenario which is possible for the uh, BTC futures in the nearest uh, future is that after staying for a while in this zone of accumulation, we can carry on with a downward move. Um, this is still supported by the technical analysis. The RSI is right in the middle. The uh, price uh, is not pumping significantly above a downward channel. The volume is decreasing and all of these indicators show that we are currently um, in, in a horizontal channel. And obviously uh, the breakout during this week, if it will occur, uh, will determine whether the price will carry on its upward or downward movement. So currently we are not in any positions based on the BTC futures. Let's look at the BTC dominance price charts and also we'll go from the daily. Uh, here we go in accordance with our analysis. So we rebound from the 200 to May. We're still on our way towards the bottom of this upward channel, which started from the uh, early January. 2018. So we're still in this huge upward channel uh, in terms of the BTC dominance uh, and uh, there is still some potential during this week to go uh, below in terms of the BTC dominance and touch this bottom of the channel. Afterwards, what we expect uh, is uh, the BTC to increase. 
on the one hand, it will go in accordance with BTC halving because um, after that, we should expect the BTC to start increasing and start pumping in terms of the price much um, faster in comparison to the altcoins. This is still our prediction that the BTC dominance will go down, touch this bottom of the channel and only then uh, start its increase. Okay, let me now look into the long-term analysis and for this we'll use the Bitstamp exchange. And this is uh, once again the daily time frame. So what we can see here is that during the previous week, quite unexpectedly, on the 16th of April, the price reversed dramatically. So we can see the nice volume, we can see the nice and solid candlestick, uh, which broke above the 50 MA uh, and uh, may currently retest it as a level of support. And then we can probably see the um, further increase in the price of Bitcoin and test in the next level, uh, which will be around 8,000. Uh, and this is also the level of the 200 MA resistance. So on the one hand, we can see that this can be quite a nice um, bullish sign that the price after the short retracement can carry on with the increase. On the other hand, what can we see from the technical analysis point of view is the formation of the second top over here. And uh, in that case, this is the reversal pattern. So the price was increasing, forming a double top, and then the price can go down. So this is also the potential to keep in mind. And even though our previous analysis um, didn't go through completely, so the price changed the direction on the 16th of April, um, we still have in this view that the price should uh, go down towards the area of accumulation of around 5,800 in the uh, nearest future. But this will depend on several factors. First thing first, if this double top formation will be fully completed. So if we break the level of 6,600 with a nice solid candle, then we're definitely going down towards the area of 5,800. If not, we can stay in the area of accumulation for quite a while in a horizontal channel, and this would be quite a, a wide horizontal channel. Um, so starting from 6,600, and then the top of that channel uh, would be around 7,400. So if we break in this level, then we definitely go into touch uh, the resistance of 200 MA, which is currently above us at around 8,000. If not, if we're going down, then uh, we'll probably go to the area of accumulation of 5,880. At this particular moment, you can see that the volume for the past five days after this breakout was decreasing steadily. The error size in the region of uh, 50, which means that uh, the asset is currently in a consolidation phase. So um, right now we'll be just monitoring the market and look at what can be done in the longer time frames when we either break uh, the support or will break the resistance of this horizontal channel. Let's look at the uh, shorter time frame. So we'll go to the four hour time frame. Um, and once again, this was our previous analysis that the price hit the 50 MA as a resistance, went down, but over here quite unexpectedly uh, on the 16th of April, it um, reversed dramatically with a nice spike in the volume and went above the channel, went above the 50 MA, now testing it as a, a support. Um, at the same time, we have the 200 MA acting as a support. So basically now we can definitely say that this is something like a horizontal channel over here. Uh, we'll stay in that horizontal channel for quite a while. Uh, we need to see some accumulation. We need to see uh, the um, new level of the horizontal volume somewhere in the middle, if that would be a pure horizontal channel. And once again, uh, if we talk about the short term strategy, what we can do is we can put a limit order at the bottom over here with a very narrow stop below the 200 MA, but be very careful because there can be just a um, sharp decrease in the price, uh, even though the candle will not close below the 200 MA, which can knock out your uh, stop level. 
So uh, this is something uh, to closely monitor because right now the price is right in the middle of that channel. So there is no uh, potential for a good either buy or a sell position. Well, guys, let me now look into the Ethereum price. Currently, in front of you, you can see the Ethereum USDT pair, uh, which is trading on Binance, and this is the weekly time frame. The most important thing here is that we're trading below the 50 MA, but the price is extremely close to this level of resistance. And in looking into the history, all the time when we were breaking uh, this level, the price was increasing quite sharply. So 40% last time, and the one before that was the increase of also well around 40, 42%. So if we're gonna break above that level of 195, um, then we might expect the a quick run uh, into the next 40%. So it will be um, something around 270, 275, um, but this is a very long-term analysis. Similarly to the Bitcoin price, the previous four weeks uh, for the Ethereum was quite uh, bullish. So we could see the increase in price um, every single week. And also another important point um, taken into the consideration, the history on Binance is the actual volume. So if after this breakdown, we can, we can see the increase in volume. So for the past five, six weeks, um, which is actually above the average volume in history, this is quite a good sign. So let me switch back all our predictions and go to the daily time frame to analyze what's happening on the more local time frames. The ascending triangle, which we determined quite some time ago, um, was broken on the 6th of April with nice volume. The 200 MA is acted as a resistance. Now we rechecked the top of that uh, triangle and on the 16th we saw another um, massive increase in price breaking the 50 MA and slightly breaking the 200 MA. And then the further increase on the 18th, which uh, increased the price uh, sharply uh, with also quite a good volume above the moving average. So what to expect in the nearest future is the uh, short term retracement towards the area of uh, $168. And there are a number of reasons for that. Let me go to the more local time frames. So four hours, for example, first of all, this will be the 50 MA support on the uh, four hour chart. This will be also the 50% retracement of Fibonacci retracement of the previous impulse wave, which is also quite good. Uh, we will re-enter the area of accumulation and also uh, this dotted green line uh, on the level of $165 is the maximum volume, horizontal volume, traded in January 2020. So this area looks like a nice area of support where it is possible to go long from this position uh, if we expect that the price of Ethereum will carry on its increase. At the same time, uh, on the longer time frame, we can see that testing this area would also mean that we are testing the 200 MA. So if the candlestick will not close below it, but we can see something like a sharp drop towards 168 with a week over here, and then the price will reverse, we can still expect it to at least form the uh, second top over here, which is a 10% increase from the area of $168. Um, or maybe even go higher because currently, at this particular stage, there is no divergence on the RSI on the daily. There is no divergence over here as well because the price is currently in the consolidation and this RSI just shows that it is retracing back to the midpoint. Um, so we are in the upward channel and if we continue with that upward channel over here, this will be exactly the bottom of that upward channel. So it seems like uh, Ethereum is much better in terms of its technical analysis in comparison to um, Bitcoin. And if we draw the upper side of that channel, there is still a potential to, uh, after the retracement, to reach the top of that upward channel. 
So based on this uh, and on the previous zones of accumulation in history, the first stop would be around 198. Uh, and I believe 200 because it's a round number. Usually there should be quite a lot of take profits in around that area if we carry on with the upward move. Uh, and then even further towards 220, which is the maximum volume for uh, February in 2020. So the um, bad scenario, however, would be that the price will start decreasing, will break the 50 MA with a solid uh, candlestick down and at the same time with a, a spike in the volume, break the um, downward channel but it also should break the 200 MA. So there are quite a lot of factors for the price to uh, start reversing right now and start to decrease in right now. So there is, there is a higher probability for uh, the price to actually carry on with its upward movement to at least form the second bottom. Uh, and over there, we'll need to recheck the price chart. Thank you very much for watching guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned with our analysis and best of luck with your trading.